Hey guys, Down Taylor here. Last week I was working in Dynamics 365 when all of a sudden I saw a new preview feature which is called Teams Calls in Dynamics 365. This is actually allowing us to embed a dialer using Microsoft Teams inside of Dynamics 365. Now there are a couple of prerequisites that you have to take a look at before you can start playing around with this. And again, this is a preview feature, so make sure that you're not installing this in a production environment. Let's go ahead and take a look. So let's take a look at some of the prerequisites that you need to consider before you can enable this feature. So first of all, obviously you need to have a Microsoft team license and it doesn't really, really matter which team license, any team license will work for that. Then you're also going to need to have a system administrator security role in your Dynamics 365 instance. Then you're also going to need to have a phone system set up. Obviously, that needs to have a valid license. And I'm actually going to drop a link in the comment section below uh, to more information in regards to the phone system uh, that I just mentioned. And I also wanted to touch upon the fact that, you know, if, if you're using Teams to make those calls, users can call other Teams users for free, but if they need to call somebody that's not on Teams, then you would still need to purchase these a calling plan and then assign those licenses to the users, right? Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, I was still able to set up this functionality even though I don't have any calling plan associated with my instance. And I'm going to show you where you can very quickly go to kind of see uh, that information. So you can go to admin.microsoft.com and then you would go to the Teams Admin Center. You can see that right over here. So when I click on that, this is where you can see the voice options, uh, but I want to go to my users options because this will show you right whether or not audio conferencing is enabled if the phone system is enabled for a particular user right and whether or not there's a calling plan assigned to those users so this is where you can very quickly go and take a look at that so the next thing I wanted to show you is where you can turn this on. So you would have to change the area to the app settings area. And you can see here underneath general settings, there is a Teams call preview option, right? So if you click on that, you can see that from here you can enable that preview, right? So if you take a look here below under where, where it says what you need to set up Microsoft team calls, but well, you can see I need that phone system license, which as you can see, the status of that is success, uh, successfully set up. And the same thing goes for my team license. Now, if in your case, that validation uh, fails for those licenses, you're going to have to contact your system administrator to enable phone system and write teams in the org as well and then obviously assign you those licenses and then when it's done you can just rerun rerun that status right that check status right over here and you can see here right my status was already successful so once that's done you can go ahead and just click here on preview enabled and now you can see that i can also choose the security roles of the users who should have access to team calls, right? So I can say all security roles, or I can say this is going to be specific security roles and then pick my security roles. 
So that's pretty easy. And if you click on their advanced settings, this is where I can select additional apps that should get access to that Teams integration, right? Or Team Calls as it's called. And I also try this on a custom app and you can do that as well. You can assign it to a custom app as well. And then of course, you just need to go ahead and hit publish. And once you do that, I'm just going to give it a second here. And you can see that my team's call settings were successfully published. So I'm just going to go ahead and refresh my screen here. And you can see here that we now have the team's call preview. We have this dialer now on the side of my screen and it doesn't really matter where I go to, right? I can go to contacts. I can open a contact and you can see that this pane just stays in here. Now I did want to mention that obviously this dialer, you can just go ahead and start dialing numbers right directly from within here. And because I said earlier, I don't have the appropriate licenses, so this is not going to dial out. It's just going to stop. But you can also go ahead and just click on this icon and you can see that it will try to dial out, which is going to error out in a second. Right, because I don't have that license, so I'm just going to go and hang up here. So you can kind of see here underneath that it says get conversation intelligence. So I wanted to show you that as well. If you click here on app settings and you go to sales insight settings, and here is my conversation intelligence. you see that the Microsoft Teams call recordings are currently also in preview. So you can see here that I can actually not set that up. But like I said, I did want to mention that that preview is out there as well for Microsoft Team, Teams call recordings. In order to take advantage of conver conversation intelligence, you actually need to have a Dynamics 365 Sales Insights license or Dynamics 365 Sales Premium. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video ever again. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.